Did you know Elon Musk might be secretly building a massive mansion in the Philippines? Yeah, you heard that right. This news hasn't hit the mainstream media yet. It's hidden, deep below the surface. If you do a quick search, you'll only find reports about Musk selling his last remaining home in San Francisco. Why would he do that? What's pulling him halfway across the world to the Philippines? Let's back up for a second and talk about the man himself. Elon Musk, born in Pretoria, South Africa, is one of the most iconic entrepreneurs of our time. He's the mastermind behind electric car giant Tesla and the private space company SpaceX. Musk was an early investor in some of the biggest tech brands, and in 2022, he made headlines when he took X, formerly Twitter private. His bold personality and massive achievements have earned him comparisons to legends like Steve Jobs and Henry Ford. In 2021, Musk's wealth skyrocketed, surpassing Jeff Bezos to claim the title of the richest person on the planet, a position he still holds as of February 15th, 2024. But his journey didn't start in the stratosphere. In 1995, with just $15,000 and his brother Kimball by his side, Musk launched Zip2, a startup that helped newspapers build online city guides. Four years later, Compaq bought Zip2 for a staggering $341 million. Musk didn't stop there. With his earnings from the sale, he launched X.com, a pioneering fintech company before fintech was even a word. X.com later merged with Confinity, leading to the creation of the global payments giant we now know as PayPal. So, with all these achievements, why the Philippines? Why now? Stay tuned, because there's a lot more to this story than meets the eye. Did you know Peter Thiel actually pushed Elon Musk out as PayPal's CEO? Not long after that, eBay swooped in and bought PayPal for $1.5 billion. But Musk still came out on top, pocketing a hefty profit thanks to his $11.7 billion stake in the company. Fast forward to 2004. Musk stepped into the world of electric cars, joining Tesla as an early investor with about $6 million. He quickly became hands-on with the company, then known as Tesla Motors. And under his leadership, Tesla grew into the world's most valuable automaker, not only producing electric vehicles, but also making waves in solar energy. After acquiring SolarCity, Tesla began developing two powerful rechargeable solar batteries. Back in 2002, Musk took another big leap pouring $100 million of his own money into founding SpaceX. And now, he's got his sights set on the Philippines, aiming to bring SpaceX's services to the country and the wider Southeast Asian region. Here's where it gets interesting. Musk's plan involves using SpaceX's Starlink satellites to provide satellite internet across the Philippines. Why the Philippines? With over 7,000 islands, many remote and rugged traditional broadband just doesn't cut it. And with an average of 20 tropical storms battering the country each year, infrastructure often gets damaged, leaving islands disconnected from the rest of the world. That's where Starlink comes in, using a constellation of satellites to ensure internet access even during natural disasters. But what's the real reason behind Musk's interest? Some say it's more than just bridging the digital divide. He might also be eyeing the Philippines for its affordable labor. Did you know the average salary in the Philippines is just around $500 a month? Some people are concerned that Musk could take advantage of this low labor cost to boost his profits, basically getting richer off the backs of Filipino workers. And with the Philippines' political system resembling that of the US, where politicians are often influenced by powerful or oligarchs, people are asking, could Musk sway lawmakers to prioritize his interests, even if it doesn't fully benefit the country? There's even speculation that Musk might dive into the real estate market in the Philippines. But would this be good for the country? Let's break down the potential benefits. First up, economic stimulus. If Musk invests in Philippine real estate, it could mean a surge of capital into the economy. This could drive job creation, boost consumer spending, 
and fuel overall economic growth. Then there's infrastructure development. Musk's passion for technology and innovation could lead to cutting-edge projects in the Philippines. Imagine eco-friendly buildings, smart cities, and maybe even Hyperloop transport systems. His vision could transform the real estate landscape in ways we haven't seen before. Another factor? Rapid urbanization. With cities like Manila grappling with congestion and housing shortages, Musk's investments could support new urban centers or revitalize existing ones, helping relieve some of the pressure on overcrowded areas. And finally, there's affordable housing. Tesla has been exploring affordable housing solutions using innovative materials and construction methods. If Musk brings that approach to the Philippines, it could make home ownership more achievable for everyday Filipinos. Imagine this. With Musk's investment, the Philippines could become a hotspot for tech hubs and innovation centers, drawing in talent and startups from across the region. This tech expansion could strengthen the Philippines' position as a major tech player in Southeast Asia. And there's more. Musk's projects often turn into tourist magnets. If he were to build a futuristic sustainable city or even a spaceport, it could become a global attraction. Think about visitors flocking to see the latest marvels, bringing a surge of tourism that boosts the local economy. But what about the environmental impact? Musk has a track record of pushing for sustainability, but big, ambitious projects in rural areas can still leave a mark. It'll be worth watching how he balances his green goals with the scale of his investments. Then there's Musk's long-term vision. Known for thinking ahead, his investment in Philippine real estate might be just the beginning. Could it be part of a larger plan to expand into other sectors like renewable energy, or advanced transportation across the region. And here's a twist. Musk is reportedly building a massive secret mansion in the Philippines. This isn't just any mansion. It's a private retreat and research hub on a secluded island, known for its breathtaking beaches and lush landscapes, perfect for both a quiet getaway and sky-watching for space experiments. This Musk mansion will combine futuristic design with sustainable tech, featuring solar panels and its own battery storage facility. It's not just a home, it's a testament to Musk's vision, blending cutting-edge tech with the beauty of nature. Musk's mansion isn't just a luxury retreat, it's a statement of his dedication to sustainability and innovation. Built with locally sourced materials and eco-friendly technology, the mansion reflects Musk's commitment to environmental consciousness. Step inside and you'll find more than just a lavish home. There's a high-tech research facility where Musk and his team are pushing boundaries in space travel, sustainable living, and advanced technology. This facility is equipped with experimental labs and even a space mission simulation center. But Musk's vision doesn't stop at his doorstep. He's investing in the local community, enhancing infrastructure, creating new job opportunities, and funding educational programs in science and tech. His goal? To inspire and equip the next generation of Filipino innovators. The entire project is kept under wraps, with construction proceeding quietly and minimal media coverage to maintain privacy and security. Only a handful of insiders know the full story, and any whispers or rumors are carefully managed to avoid leaks. Musk is already looking to the future, envisioning the Philippines as a critical hub for a network of research centers, and maybe even a launch point for space missions across Asia-Pacific. This mansion and its facilities aren't just about luxury. They're a stepping stone toward advancing technology and exploration for a new era.